Originally, we had solar installed to save money. Since we've had it installed, it's become more than saving money. We're interested in the environment, we're saving oil, and it's grown into other things that we do, from recycling to buying biodegradable items, and it's kind of become our mission to be green. We're kind of known as the green girls. <laughs> Everybody knows we're green, the neighbors and, and other groups that we're in. It's just kind of become our passion. Just before we put our panels up, Newsday had a brief article about this national solar tour. I read that and that piqued my interest because we had just put on the sunroom on our deck. We had a lot of sun in there all day long and I got to thinking, wow, that sun is being wasted. We could be harnessing it for our electric. And that's when I started to pursue it and I went to go solar and discussed it with them and I would say we started discussing the solar tour in October and by December we had panels. Our solar panels cost about $63,000. At the time LIPA was giving a $4 rebate and so we got approximately $30,000 back from LIPA and a few tax uh, incentives. So we probably laid out around $30,000. I like to tell people when you go in to buy a new car, you spend a lot more than $30,000 many times. And you drive out of the showroom and what do you have? What is a car worth? I spend $30,000 on solar and I have an investment that's paying me back every year. We've, since we've had it, we've gotten a check back from LIFA that we've sold them energy. And we have an investment. We have something in our future and we're helping the environment. We had an energy audit, and uh, since the energy audit, we had uh, natural gas installed. We have a natural gas heater. We have energy efficient appliances. We have a, a rain barrel that we use to water uh, our plants. We have a little electric car that we use in the summer. We compost. We have a mulching mower that is also a zero turn. That saves a lot of gas. We have uh, biodegradable garbage bags. We use our reusable bags when we go to the supermarket. We don't buy plastic water bottles anymore. We have stainless steel <laughs> water bottles, our own fruit trees that we use. We just conserve. We turn off lights when we don't need them and we don't have extra things plugged in. Go Solar installed a monitoring device on my solar system, a TED 5000. You can access the website from anywhere. This is my iPad. I'm accessing it from my iPad and there's also a special app that you can use on your iPad to monitor it. So I can be anywhere and monitor what my house is using and what my panels are making. And this is what we do every night. We come out and see how much energy we have accumulated over the day and it's all written out here and it's early in the day the sun isn't fully on our panels but we've already made three kilowatts in one unit and two kil almost three kilowatts in the other unit i think some of our neighbors are thinking of going solar they're quite intrigued they want to know about it they're just waiting to gather enough money for the down payment it's um, one of those things that keeps going out people learn they start with light bulbs and they start seeing a change there and then it goes on. You just keep talking about it and people listen and they learn. I just got the uh, Toyota Prius, a hybrid car. I replaced one that was getting 18 miles per gallon locally with one that's getting 48. And uh, everyone said, the, the salespeople and that said, that's the future. That's our future of the cars, not these big SUVs that guzzle gas. I, I can't understand how people still buy those.